Hey friends, it's Leslie. Welcome back to Holistic Health at Home. It's day seven of this juice feast. I cannot believe that I've made it a week already. But before I get into any kind of updates today, I first want to thank you guys for 800 subscribers on this channel. I cannot believe it. When I first started this channel, I had no idea that we would be 800 subscribers in already. And I am so grateful for every single one of you that has stuck around since the beginning. All of the new subscribers that I've been getting, I'm grateful for all of you. Let's continue to learn and heal together. I'd like to keep today's video a bit short since there's nothing really new to report. I'm feeling really good despite having some bouts of anxiety and some tightness in my chest, not quite a full-blown asthma attack, but last night I did wake up about 2.30 in the morning. My chest was incredibly tight. I was really wheezy. And then I found out that I have like one puff left on my inhaler. I did take a dropper full of Spasm Calm and that helped to relax my nervous system, um, help prevent it from being so spastic. And I was able to get some more sleep. This morning, I started the day off with a new juice concoction that I've never tried before. I'll share the uh, description in the box below. If I remember, it was like three oranges, an apple, a sweet potato, a thumb of ginger, and some baby carrots that my mom gave me. A message that I wanted to leave with you guys today is one of discipline. I will share with you in the description box below some of the music that I've been listening to on a daily basis. These are songs that I go to to keep up my motivation, to stay inspired. These are songs that kick me in the butt whenever I'm feeling like, ah, oh, maybe I could eat a fry or two. No, just stick with the juice. Stay disciplined because discipline equals freedom. Over the weekend, as I drove my dad to the store, we passed by a lot of restaurants and the smells coming out of those restaurants were so tantalizing. It's been one week without solid food and I'm realizing I got three to go. <laughs> this is when the true self-discipline really starts to set in. The first few days of any kind of protocol, whether it's a fast, a feast, whatnot, your adrenaline is pumping, you're feeling really amped, you are ready to take on this new challenge. But I would say give it a few days, a solid week, and suddenly the day-to-day -day routine starts to set in and the challenges of everyday life start to come. And whether you are used to emotional eating or you are married to a kitchen magician, aka amazing chef, it can be difficult to get through those cravings, to get through those temptations, and to really harness the discipline within. But the truth is, friends, every one of us has self-discipline. It's just a matter of how long has it been since you've exercised your self-discipline? Are you now used to giving in to your temptations? Are you used to going for your desires and your wants instead of really paying attention to your needs? Friends, do what you need to do to stay motivated, to keep that inspiration, and to stay along your journey. Whether that's a fruitarian lifestyle, or a whole food plant-based lifestyle, or a trying to transition to a plant-based lifestyle, find your middle path like we were talking about in yesterday's video of balance. But once you find that balance and you find that middle path, then you can harness that discipline within and rock that journey. When your body and your mind are ready to take that next level up, it will let you know. For me this week, it's been listening to a lot of motivational music and also watching some other people on YouTube that have gone through their own juice feast. It really helps me to see others living the lifestyle and to immerse myself in that lifestyle. Today, the cravings are hitting hard and I'm trying to remind myself however I can. I even have my unstoppable T-Rex shirt on <laughs> just to remind myself how unstoppable I am when I am focused, when I am determined, when I am harnessing the discipline within. And I know you guys have it too. That's why you're here. That's why you're searching out this information. 
find a good documentary to watch, binge Dr. Morse videos, find a detox specialist to work with so you can get that one-on-one -on -one training on how to learn your body's natural cleansing cycles. This is a lot of fun once you get into it, friends. It can be a challenge at first, but you have that self-discipline. So harness it and rock your journey. Stay juicy, my friends. Thanks again for joining me on day seven of this juice feast. If you are looking for any kind of help along your health journey, send me a message on my website at holtox.com. That is H-O-L-T-O-X.com. I'm Leslie, sending you love and health.